the bottom line is that the founders wanted to limit government. Uh, they understood rights as God given, and uh, they distilled natural law in the Bill of Rights, and they gave us a a three uh, a three branch government that they thought would keep government limited, not expand it. Uh, and uh, you know, so the that's the antithesis of that is the growth of federal government. Uh, as Ronald Reagan reminded us more than once, uh, all it takes, uh, you know, well, actually, I think that was Edmund Burke. All it takes for evil to prevail is for good people to do nothing. But he reminded us, Reagan, that that you don't pass freedom down through the DNA. You got to teach it. You got to defend it. Limited government must be defended. And as Ken said, it's a zero sum game. At the end of the day, if you lose individual liberties to the central government, uh, or to put it differently, if you empower the federal government with liberties that once belonged to you and the states under the Tenth Amendment, uh, you will not get them back. Those are taken from you. So uh, again, people need to step up right now. And as Ken said, and as you said, and as AMAC constantly pushes forward, you need to email your members. You need to make them responsible. You need to make them responsible to history uh, and to the text of the Constitution and frankly, to the freedoms that you enjoy every day, or you won't have them.